the respondent heirs, okay, the surviving spouse and the children gave their counter arguments, counter arguments which are as follows. Okay, first that it is within the jurisdiction, the regional trial court's jurisdiction to reverse or modify an interlocutory order, setting the case for probate. Check this is correct. Second, the petitioner Mary failed to mention that she did not appear in any of the evidentiary hearings to disprove the allegation of preterition, correct? She did not show up during these hearings. Third, that the regional trial court and the court of appeals both found that Joey was preterited from the will, correct? Finally and fourth, that Joey's preterition annulled the institution of heirs and opened the case into intestacy, correct? That is a coded provision in the civil code. So that's not really an issue, no? They conclude that the regional trial court did not exceed its jurisdiction or act with grave abuse of discretion when it reinstated the child of the decedent who was previously appointed as administrator of the estate, Mr. John Jr., the son of John Sr., and ordered the case to proceed in the state. Okay, so... Now, that is the arguments. Those are the arguments of the surviving spouse and the children. Okay. Good arguments. And uh, these are you know, very good guiding principles for those who have the same case. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. We will discuss further uh, preteration, the last will, and the institution of heirs in the last will and testament. Okay? So I'll see you in the next video.